Oh, what a sick hand this is. Wow. Daniel picks up the first six-figure pot of the week. I don't think I started out with enough money. <laughs> Why is everyone so happy except Phil? <laughs>It starts on Daniel Negrano, ace queen. It's a raising hand, makes it 1200. Tilly, 7 4, out. Come on, Daniel, every hand? Yes, every hand. Jeez. Every hand till Saturday. Saturday, he gets his highlights touched up. Tony G folds, pocket deuces for Nacho. He calls. Spike call. Do it. Let's. Uh oh. Bring Spike it. Spike call. Oh. Hello. Got Kenny. Asham and Kenny call. Here we go. Got some of that Luke's cannon money. So Daniel's raise gets a lot of respect. Four-way action. Deuce five, deuce quads for Nacho. Joe Hashem, steer clear. Check. Check. Hashem checks. Ken checks. Daniel continues for 3,000. Nacho has flopped. Hashem, dead. Negranu, dead. Rankowski, dead. Niedermeyer and Dean Wormer, dead. And Nacho just calls. Smooth call. I don't want to play with him anymore. First time Joe's avoided quads all week. <laughs> Poor guy, he folds and so does Ken. Couldn't you have a pair of fives there, Ken? Just... No, no. Luckily. Turn, ace of spades, a pair for Daniel. Rut row, top pair. Not just thinking, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet. But Daniel just checks. Daniel checks for a multitude of reasons. He could be beat. The only flop draw just got there. He may not feel he can get two streets of value if he does have the best hand. And by checking, he gives Nacho the chance to bluff at it, which he is not bluffing. <laughs> Bet's 9,200. Barbero. Well, we all know Daniel hates folding about as much as he hates food that had a face. Nacho might play any baby ace with a wheel draw the same way. Daniel makes the call. Nacho's got a live one here. Another ace would be very bad for Daniel. Awesome. To the river, three of hearts. This is actually a good card for Daniel because it looks bad as any baby ace is now beating him. It might save him some money. Daniel checks. Nacho's got to figure out how strong he thinks Daniel's hand is before he can figure out how much value to go for. Going for the great chips, fires. Yeah, that card legitimately scares me. I, I thought I had the nuts on the turn, to be honest. I think I had the nuts on the turn, but that one, would you bet aces and threes with that? Let me see. How much did you bet? 20,000. Is he going to do the commentary thing? Cool. I'm going to split for a hot minute. <laughs> I'm thinking like sixes or sevens. Sixes or sevens are, are good for me. I had you on ace four unfortunately, on the turn. So if you had ace four, then you just made a straight. Huh. Can only beat him turning a pair into a bluff. It's the only hand. But Nacho Barbero is very capable. God, I don't like that river. It's such a good river for you. If you put me on jacks, right? You figure I have jacks, you have to bet that river card now. So many, I leveled myself with the pause in the turn. You know what I mean? On the turn, I studied, studied, and like sort of changed my range in his eyes, which forces me to go like that. Daniel calls. Oh, I had the nuts. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> quads. <laughs> quads again, and Hashim wasn't in the hand. Queen. More quads, huh? Oy. I was gonna say, that's what I think fives, wow. fives or something, like deuces. Uh, like, there's no way you're gonna play. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. That all makes sense too, but I was like. Yeah. I should always put them on quads because right. I've never I've run seen into so many quads. quads in my life. Quads again, huh? Hard to put no, them on quads. I still think I have to call in a weird way. Nacho yeah. drags a pot worth over 70K. Tony, why are you on my left? Just thought we'll play one nice pot together. Jennifer is dominated and out of position, but based on Tony's rep, she could get into some real trouble here. A lot of people think Jennifer may not be an aggressive player, but trust me, she is. Her lack of experience isn't so much of a lack anymore after the last couple years. Specifically dating Phil Lack. Speaking of aggressive, four bets to 12,000. Wow. <laughs> it's better than calling. Tony's got to give Jennifer more credit than she gave him. But it's pretty tough to get any of these guys to lay down ace-king before the flop. Is it that good? 12. And Tony calls. 
Maybe I need to get lucky. Easy, Jennifer. I think he meant on the flop. <laughs> flop seven, jack seven, rainbow. Both players miss. Jennifer should see bet to keep the lead. She doesn't know this, but that flop is pretty bad for Tony's hand. But she checks. Okay. And Tony checks. Turn. King of hearts, top pair for Tony. Jennifer's drawing more dead than the bride of Chucky. <laughs> and it looks like now she's going to try to bluff at this. Bet's 12,000. She's trying to rep Tony's hand. Tony's not folding. Tony quickly calls. So we'll see a river. Ace of diamonds, two pair for Tony. Unfortunately, top pair now for Jennifer. As she checks, Tony bets 25K. <sighs> it's one of her most famous lines from Bride of Chucky. <laughs> Unfortunately, she kind of has to call. Uh... You want me to take the race back? What? You want to take it back? I'll take it back. No, really, take it back. I'll I take don't it think back. you could take the ace back. Then I'll take it back, I promise. If the ace, if the ace wins, you, you win the pot. What do you mean? So, I'm worried like the ace upset you, so I'm happy to take no, it off the, the table. No, the 25K upset okay, me. Okay, all right, let's leave it on there then. I might need it. Oh my god. I don't even know why I raised you in the first place. I don't know either. I was just trying to be clever. Now look what's happening. What do you have here? Ace king, obviously. I mean, what else could I have? <laughs> Is that what you have, ace king? Of course, what else do I play? He probably has ace king, right? Or two sevens. One of those two options. God. And I promise you, I either have ace king or two sevens. If you, you promise me? If you fold, I promise you. I don't even have 25,000. Is that I really? make it 20 if you want. You make it 20? I'm gonna make it 20? Yeah, make it 20. All right, make it 20. Hey. What a nice guy. Can you do that? I don't think I started out with enough money. <laughs> the floor's gonna allow it. None of the other players objecting. Make it 20. <sighs> Might save us both money. Okay, cool. Makes the call. I just can't. I mean, I wouldn't lie. And Tony wins another big one. All right. I think I'm going to have to reload. It was 5,000 cheaper. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Barry, a seven offsuit. It's going to raise his ace in the cutoff. To 1,500. Jason Mercier, eight, seven suited. Suited connector is exactly the kind of hand these guys like to play in position. And he calls. Joe Cata folds. Danny looking at ace deuce suited. Also calls. So three players to the first flop of the evening. Five tray four, a crazy one. Barry's gone from first to worst. Danny has flopped a wheel. Danny's checked over to Barry. He bets 3,000. Can always count on good old Greenstein to continuation bet. Jason's got a monster draw, a flush draw to go with his gut shot. Don't see him going anywhere. We might see a semi bluff. Jason raises to 8,400. That bet tells me he'd be happy to take it right here. Now we know Danny has a made straight and he's not going anywhere. It's possible he's already drawing dead, but he knows both Barry and Jason have a pretty wide range. Barry always C bats, and Jason is a re raising machine. Danny re raises to 24,000. See, with that raise, Danny's protecting his hand and he's betting for value at the same time. Barry folds his gut shot. So now the action on Jason Mercier. On. Danny would actually be the one all in if he calls. And I can't see him folding. Call. Call? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I have a gut shot and a flush draw. They let us do that? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, they let us do it. Um, do you want to run it? How many times do you want to run it? Once or three times. All right, I'll definitely run it three times. Though. That means they'll see the turn and the river three times playing for one third of the pot each run. And even though Danny's got a made straight, you can see they're each about a coin flip to win this hand. I just have to hit. You have, you have no redraw, right? Yeah, I know. I have a lot of kill cards. The first of three runs. Queen on the turn. No help for Jason. The river. 
Danny wins the first run. Nice one, the first one. Remember, Jason's looking for any of those outs at the top of the screen. The second turn, the five of diamonds. Is there any spades in there? The river, seven of clubs. Danny wins again. I made two pair. All right, come on. Let's, let's not do this. Jason's hoping for one third of this pot. The third and final run. All right, there we go. I'm glad we ran it three times. Yeah. If you said once or twice, that would have been very expensive. Jack of clubs, the meaningless river card. Mercier makes his flush and pockets a third of the pot, more than 57 grand. Action folds around to Doyle Brunson. Suited connectors raises to 2,800. Doyle all of a sudden coming to life, maybe trying to get a little hot streak going. Phil Locke folds. Haven't heard much from Tony G so far. I call. Makes the call. Tony G's had good luck with that hand in this game. On Monday night, he flopped trip jacks and raked in almost 200,000. Ace nine off suit for the newly reformed Phil Helmuth. Phil thinking about making a move here. I raised the pot. A raise to 12,600. The loose cannon. Ooh, pair of cowboys. If there's ever a time to re-raise, this is it. 12-6. Yep. Cool. But just a call. We have some cannon action over here. Ernest just called 12,000 cold. Should be sending smoke signals into the sky. Wow, started some. He may be trying to set a trap by just calling, but by not re-raising, Ernest giving Doyle and Tony both better odds to call behind him. Well, you can see Doyle's stack just 50 grand right now. He's looking at 20% of his stack to call. I know Tony's going to call it, so I might as well too. Yeah. <laughs> I love these big pots. It's a very loose call from Doyle. Tony calls. Wow, what a sick hand this is. <laughs> Four ways. I'm not going to anyway next pot, so it's like a free roll for me. It's the danger of smooth calling with Kings. Ernest has let three other players into this pot. The flop 9-10-9, trip nines for Helmuth. Phil has flopped the Helmuth out of it. Our loose cannon, Ernest, is in big trouble if he can't get away from this. And honestly, Chris, I don't see how he'll be able to. Tony G has checked on over to Phil Helmuth. That flop looks like you, doesn't it? No, Phil, I look like me. <laughs> Ernest, very confident. 17,000. Phil bets 17,000. If you look like me, why you bet so much? Ernest is actually asking the right question, but isn't looking for an answer. Wow. All I can see are those two kings. Thirty-six thousand. I love you, Ernest. I try to gamble on this king. Doyle folds. I was gonna rise. So sick. Tony G's out. <laughs> wow. This is almost certainly disaster for our loose cannon. Two hundred thousand. What are you gonna do if I move in? You gonna call? Phil, of course I have no choice but to, my brother. You got aces or kings or something or what? Man, if I had aces or kings, man, I'd be the man right now, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> this is why this show's so fun. You're the best. Boy, oh boy, I don't think I have a choice here. This is so sick. All right, I guess I'm all in. I call kings. I got three nines. You lie, I'd be kidding me. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. What were you slow rolling him for? Here, man. Maybe a 10 slow. Oh, I mean, he, he just he was so happy. That was so unreal. That was torture. I didn't mean to slow that's roll. Sick. Hold on. How, how many times do you want to deal it? Oh, hey, thanks for asking me. Three um, times? Yeah, that's Huh? Three times? Yeah, one of three. Three times. Three times. Three times. Yeah, three times. that'll you work. You might win one of those three. T, where is mine? Wow, and you straddled and everything. That was perfect. You made it so much before the flop with Ace-9. Our loose cannon has one foot out the door. Gimp. You want to deal it four times? When you ask him you're going to call if I go all in and he said yes, what percentage of you didn't believe that he was given the straight dope there with that little bit left? Wasn't it like a... A little a bit left. He had 50,000 like left. Slow, that's one that of the worst slow rolls I've seen in slow roll. roll. 
No, that's not. When a you know word. he's gonna call because he says it. You know, Phil Locke, why don't you why don't you just stay out of uh, why don't you stay out of it? Because I'm right because, here. I, because I because badly. you are you've been so far out of line to okay. me, and every time we've played, and I'm just sick of it. So why don't you just you mind your business? You 12,600 But he's right. It was a pretty sick slow roll. I'm sorry, because I haven't done anything like that in my whole life. Were you folding? I can't get away from this, the whole speech? The guy's already in. He's already got 80% of the whole side. Doyle, you're the... He had 50,000 more. Did he have 50,000 more? You want to, I'll bet he had at least 40,000 more. He put in 36,000. I'll bet he had 40 more. Before you count, and look. 74, 74, 300. How can he ever have that beat? You want to deal it four times or what? Four times? Yeah. It gives you a better chance hey, to win. Yeah, sure do. Cool. Run him out, baby. All right, four, four times. times. Mm, mm, mm. Four times, need two kings. Wow, that's about a 50. Spade, 50. spade, clean jack. Hey, runner jack. Spade, spade. Hey, run yeah. a, run a runner. So we'll see the turn in river four times with each pot worth a shade under 50 grand. Run number one, a jack of hearts. Queen, king. yeah, queen, queen king. king. The river, an ace of diamonds, round one goes to Helmuth. Phil Helmuth has filled up and made a full house. He's locked up at least 25% of this pot. Run two. The turn, a king. There we go, yeah. full house. That's what I'm talking about, you're baby. Get me down. If you ran it twice, you Get got your money back. Damn. Yeah. Oh, damn, I said four times though, damn, yeah. didn't I? Holy yeah. snap, I gotta stand back up now. I thought it was only twice, come on. The <laughs> river's a three. 15% dog, <laughs> Ernest has won the second on, pot. So that's cool, I'm feeling good right now. Well, you're still alive, you're still alive. No, that's all thing. Our loose cannon yeah, will stick around. Money, Round three. A spade seven of now. spades. <laughs> Everybody's rooting for a spade. Everybody you can now hit a king or a spade to win this run. The river. It is a spade. God damn it. spade. You're up to one. Hey. That's a loose cannon. He's up two to one. Why did you go for four times? You went for. Hey, man. I'm just thinking of more house, man. It was almost. <laughs> oh, this is like slow roll. One more time. Hey. One more time. Put a king ball out there. <laughs> Ernest Wiggins has now won half the pot. Like, this is the thing right here. This is it right here, man. This is like the big action right here, right? Helmut loves it. Yeah, I really like What's it. <laughs> Come on, one more. King, king. The final run. Ernest's odds continue to get worse and worse, but Phil looks sick anyway. A queen on the jack, turn. Jack, there's a jack. You want a jack, that jack, would be king. fair. King. King or a jack, one time. There's, there's what, three jacks left? Right now. The final river card. It's a king! king. Oh, that's <laughs> real! He had three out of four! He had three out of four! That's With the worst hand! <laughs> Why is everyone so happy except Phil? <laughs> Houston's out, and now aces for Daniel. Set, we have a straddle, okay? What's this? This is $28. $28? dollars $28. Actually, $2,800. Joe folds. William folds. Just for the commentary during the hand, I'll call. Biffers in. If you check, I'm going to bet this one. I'm going to bury G it. All right. I don't want to check then. Oh, no, I'm going to probably four. raise you. Biffer bets 400 in the dark and hits bottom pair. That's not even a check. It's like it's just a waste of space. Viffer's basically uh, done this to prevent Daniel from continuation betting. How about raising? How much is that? 54. Viffer calls. Daniel's raising an amount that makes it look like he's trying to get rid of the Viffer. <laughs> Viffer bets in the dark again. Nine of spades on the turn, giving Viffer a flush draw. Viffer's basically checking by betting, so his call on the flop isn't so bad up against any random continuation bet. Daniel raises to 12-4. Now that he's got a pair and a flush draw, he may not be going anywhere. Why do you always raise me? You're not really betting. That's not really a bet. 400. Whoa, re-popped to 41-4. This is a pretty scary board for two aces. 7-8 and king-queen both just got there. Spades picked up more outs. Now, it is way more likely that Viffer would be semi-bluffing here than he is to actually have something. So while technically this is a three bet, it really is just a raise. Daniel calls. Interesting card coming. Another 400 from Viffer in the dark and a set of aces for Daniel. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing, Viffer? He's mashing my brain into bits. 
It is very peculiar the way he's played this hand. Oh boy. I really wish you would have bet like 50 or 60,000. Oh, this is gonna be so pansy-like. I'm the biggest pansy of all time. I'm such a chicken, only because you're so creative and tricky and all this funky stuff. You could actually bet 400, hope I make a legit raise, and then just boom, blow me off the hand. And I'm too scared of that. Just flat out, fear. This is just a fear call. He calls. That means this will make the highlight reels. What do you got? Nothing, of course. Oh, good. It's <laughs> good for me. I almost folded, I swear. <laughs> I really did. I have a three. I, have, I almost folded, I absolutely swear. Wow. Daniel picks up the first six-figure Viffer. He's got good cards. Queen Jack. Raises to 5,500. Oh, here he goes, being a bully again. It's lucrative to be a bully in poker, just ask Barry. Barry with another pocket pair. Calls. Precision. Antonio folds. And I got wrong, that's why I hit the two. Chow's out. A6 for Rick, the double straddler. Was it 55? Troy's losing himself in the music and waiting for his moment to own it. He's still going. I'm going to pot it, whatever it is, the maximum. God, I love you. I just want to come over there and hug you right now, you know? 23,600. Re raised by Raheem, gets Viffer out. Uh, that's about all my stack there. Barry, charge 20. 22, right? Yeah. I'm all in in the dark if you call. Barry puts Rick all in. Barry's decided he wants to gamble. He raised me? Yeah, he raised you all in. Call. Rick calls. I mean, I'm going to fold for the last whatever. It's serious right now. It's huh? serious right now. No, I misread Barry a little bit. I think he's stronger than I thought. But we'll see. You want to show the cards, guys? Fair five. Ooh. Well, I got overs. <laughs> Good luck. It's a race. Let me, let me win a race. Okay, I read the hand right. I just, I didn't think, I didn't read Barry for calling me, but okay. I, I got overs. Now, I'll, sh I'll show him at the end, but I, I'm superstitious. Somehow, Raheem's racing, even though he's got a weak ace. Deal some overs. Let me try to sweat. Uh, I, I really thought I had the best hand. Can I sweat without showing anyone else? Sure. I'll show it at the end. Antonio gets a peek at Rick's cards. Barry doesn't know what he's up against. Rick playing for all of his money. Deuce, Jack, deuce. Oh, okay, as long as those aren't two fives. You're still ahead. Do I have hard outs? Safe flop for Barry so Ooh, far. Ace of hearts, just let you sweat a little bit. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you got. The turn. Heart. The ace of oh, diamonds. Oh, you're Big not dead. You got two outs, and you're going to hit it. He's actually only got one out. Chow folded a five. This is the best worst play made on this show, right here. What I just did. I concur. <laughs> Wait, do you see the other one? <laughs> a queen and Rick doubles up. <laughs> Add overs. How much? Lucky hand, sir. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.